What's going on guys? I want to make a quick video on this. Uh was going to do it last night, but figured I'd just do it with just me talking to you guys. This is going to be on the channel. This is going to be on all my social media network. But yes, the Acolyte is done. Finally. It's finally done. And you know what? I know fa fans of that show is going to get angry. And you know what? That's fine. But here's my thing. And if you enjoy the show, okay, good for you. But me, I, I did not like it. I hated it. Um, I watched the entirety of the thing, unfortunately, to see if it got any better. No, it did not. Um, there's people, there's not been one person that I've met that's actually liked the show for multiple reasons. I've had people comment saying, oh, you know, the writing was good, or Soul was good, or that was good. There was so much stuff in there after re looking at it that you should be like, oh, you know, all, just all these things that didn't make no sense. So, Leslie Headland does not have no reason to be near her Star Wars. Kathleen Kennedy still needs to go. Someone better needs to replace her. Hopefully not someone just like her. And at the same time, this show was just a trap seat. It, it was a bastardization of everything George Lucas stood for, for Star Wars. Everything Star Wars is did not make no sense. It literally messed up Keanu Mundi. It messed up anything Jedi-related, anything Force-related. The thread. It just, it was so stupid. And I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it's over with. And finally... Maybe we can have better Star Wars. Maybe it's that's a very slim hope. I know I'm waiting on a skeleton crew right now, and I'm gonna give that um, just the best try I can. But other than that, I really don't have too much else to say other than okay, you have fans apparently of this show getting angry online and saying that oh we're boasting about Star Wars that we got our way and that they never get their way and we want this and it's like okay, this show was made for the five ten percent fans that actually wanted this crap. Everybody else didn't. And the reason why they're not going to go forward with this is not because fans like myself were angry or we complained and we were telling the truth about this, but it was because of how much money they lost, how much viewership they lost, everything, because people just stopped caring. And I think that's what honestly did it. So, again, people can say oh, it was about complaining or supposedly review bombing, which, no, there was a lot of fake reviews on that because they were just trying to boast it up and it didn't work. And then you had people like myself that was telling the truth about this, why they missed why they messed this up, why it didn't make no sense between the one that was the green lady that was the Jedi that was, you know, that one's master, the makeup looked horrible, the costume design looked horrible, the writing was horrible, and the actress of the show <clears throat> spewing a bunch of random crap just out of her mouth and she doesn't know to shut up, posting about, you know, race, gender, all this stuff, and antagonizing Star Wars fans. And you don't do that. And Kathleen Kennedy did that. Leslie Hamlin did that. They're saying, "Oh, you should, you should praise getting rid of Soul because he is, he is this, he is that." And it's like, dude, Soul was the only decent character, and you screwed him. And then you made, you know, you pretty much bitched out Plagueis, which is why he was there to begin with. No one knows, and didn't make sense to the story. So there's just so much stuff in the story that didn't make no sense. And Star Wars is such in a fragile state right now that it just needs to become better. And the stuff that even Mark Hamill's doing right now is it, making me sick to my stomach because I just had so much respect for that man for what he's done for the the geek community for like you know batman star wars all this stuff and all he's wanting to do is talk about politics and it's you know and, and he basically says oh if you're a you know maga supporter you know make america great again then go force yourself it's like dude come on like we weren't even talking about that we were here for star wars and you want to do this and the pricing what you want for your uh autographs or whatever else is just outlandish you know 700 800 something dollars a piece and that's like half of my rent right there that's half of my rent right there i'm not paying those outlandish prices just like the same reason why i was going to go to the star wars uh resort that they had that got shut down because nobody wanted to go to it nobody was interested in because how much money was supposed to go to that when that is someone's mortgage that is someone's rent and it's absolutely outlandish you know disney we don't have these this kind of money people like myself we don't have this kind of money we work for that money and it goes for bills groceries and etc and depending on how things go later on this year it's either going to get better or it's going to get worse and i'm gonna let y'all have your thoughts on that but for the Acolyte, I'm glad it's done. I'm glad it's not coming back. I don't want Leslie Hanlon to touch anything else Star Wars. I think she is just a crappy person in general. She wants to make everything about race and gender, and she does not understand Star Wars. She doesn't understand, I think, society as a whole. And same thing with uh, Kathleen Kennedy. I think the same thing for most of the cast as well. You had the cast on there that didn't know shit about Star Wars. And people like myself that actually care and love a franchise, and we get very defensive about it. Oh, we're the bad guys. No, we're not. We're saying something that's true, and no 
one can handle it, and they're wanting to run, and they're wanting to play these cards, because we're saying what's up, we're saying what the truth is, and no one likes it, but guess what, guess what happened, your show got cancelled, and no one cares, and that's what the problem is, you got a very slow percentage of people that supposedly care, and it's people that have the same ideas you do, and not everybody has that, and that's what the world needs to wake up to, not everybody thinks the same, no one's going to care about the same things you do, no one's going to like the same things you do, and guess what, it happens, it's a life, it's called an actuality of life, it's not a fairy tale land that some of these people live in, but those are my thoughts guys, let me know what you think, and like I said, if you like it, fine, if not, that's fine too, I'm just, you know, having my opinion out here, but let me know what you think, and I'll see you on the next one.